All the major spiritual traditions and the minor ones too actually, they all speak about this concept of oneness. Oneness, the interconnected nature of all phenomena. And this theory of oneness is, it's, it's a great theory, but it can be difficult to understand in practice because although we hear from the great lamas, the teachers, the masters, the gurus that we are all one, I still feel very separate from you. Unless we're connecting on a deep love level and then of course we feel very close, but essentially I still feel separate from you and I feel separate from that chair and I feel separate from this microphone. But the teachings on oneness tell us that we're not separate. There is no separateness. We are all one, all interconnected. Now, if you really want to get into oneness, if you want to experience oneness at a practical level, then you need to get into lucid dreaming. In a lucid dream, which is a dream in which you are aware of the fact that you're dreaming as the dream is happening, you are everything. In a lucid dream, you are both the projector and the projected. You are both the dreamer and the dreamt. In a lucid dream, you are everything. In a lucid dream, you are the trees, you are the sky, you are the chair, you are the microphone, you are the you, you are the other dream characters. You are the wind in the trees, you are the leaves that blow as the wind blows through them. If you really want to experience oneness, experience lucid dreaming. And once you enter into that oneness in the lucid dream, you can enter into that oneness in this dream, the dream of waking life. And that's the real benefit of lucid dreaming. You now the ironic thing about lucid dream practice is that it's the practice you do in the night but the benefits don't come in the night time. The main benefits, they come in the daytime. Because through lucid dreaming, you learn lucid living. You learn to wake up in this dream. You learn to see the oneness and experience the bliss of interconnectivity in this dream, in this waking state, in this shared dream. And that's beautiful. And it's always been that way. We haven't always been blind to it and we don't have to be blind to it anymore. If we can just experience that non-separate nature just for one fleeting second, we'd never commit harm to another again. Because that's what love is. Love is, is oneness, it is the interconnected nature of all things. And that's why I love to be lucid. Lie down on the bed or floor and make yourself comfortable. If you can, lie on your back with support under your head and under your knees if you like. Take a few moments to make yourself totally comfortable. There's no rush. For the next 20 minutes or so, I'm going to guide you into one of the most relaxing states of mind the transitional state of mind between wakefulness and sleep, known as the hypnagogic state. To maintain mindful awareness within this state is a deeply refreshing experience, which recharges your body and brings clarity to your mind. Now, close your eyes and set your intention to stay mindfully aware for the duration of this guided meditation to know what is happening as it is happening throughout. If you fall asleep, then that's totally fine. 
and perhaps that's what your body needs. But if you like, then aspire to stay mindfully aware throughout, to enter consciously into the wonderfully relaxing deep space of the hypnagogic state. Become aware of your breathing. Notice when you are breathing in and when you're breathing out. Breathe in a little more deeply than normal and then gently release the breath. On each out breath, allow any tension to be released from your body and mind. Now, see if you can keep the in-breath equal to the out-breath. Breathing in for a count of three or four and breathing out for a count of three or four. Breathe through your nose or mouth, either is fine. When the mind drifts off into chattering thoughts, simply bring the mind back gently to the breath. Breathing in for a count of three or four, and breathing out for a count of three or four. Continue at your own pace for the next couple of minutes. Breathing in for a count of three or four. And breathing out for a count of three or four. Now, place a little more focus on the out-breath. Notice that as you release the out-breath, the body relaxes a little. Notice the relaxation of the out-breath. On your next out-breath, drop any regulation of the breathing and allow your breath to return to its natural flow. Can you feel the ground or bed beneath you? 
Can you allow yourself to experience the unconditional support of the ground or bed beneath you? You are supported unconditionally, safely. You are held by the ground lovingly. Be aware of the contact points between your body and the bed or the ground beneath you. Feel the contact points of your heels, back of your legs, thighs, buttocks, back, elbows, shoulders, and the contact points of your head with the pillow beneath it. Be aware of all the contact points between your body and the surface beneath you. Now, bring your focus onto the sensations of your physical body. Let your mind fall softly into the body, becoming aware of any and all bodily sensations. With each out-breath, allow yourself to relax deeper and deeper into a broad awareness of your bodily sensations. Allow thoughts the freedom to come and go by themselves while you focus your awareness on your body as it lies in space. Now, you scan your awareness throughout particular areas of the body, relaxing deeply as you go. First, Become aware of your feet. Bring your awareness into your feet. Notice any and all of the sensations in your feet. Feel deeply into the sole, arch and top of your feet. Be mindful of each toe on each foot. Perhaps you notice a pulse in one of your toes, which you were not aware of before. Simply know what is happening, as it is happening, without judgment or preference. Now, Allow your awareness to flow up through your feet and into your ankles. Be aware of any and all sensations in your feet and ankles. Allow your awareness to spread up and into your lower legs, calves, back of your knees and kneecaps. Be aware of any and all bodily sensations from the tips of your toes to the level of your kneecaps. When thoughts arise, as they naturally will, let them go freely. Simply let them pass and guide your focus back to my voice. Flow your awareness up through your knees, back of your knees, your thighs, upper legs. Allow your awareness to flow up through your inner thighs, groin area, your buttocks, your coccyx, up to the level of your hips. Be aware of any and all bodily sensations 
from the tips of your toes to the level of your hips. With awareness comes relaxation, a deep, soothing relaxation. Now, your awareness flows up through your lower back, waist, navel area, kidneys, belly, abdominal area, all the way up to the level of your lower rib cage. Release any tension that you may hold in these areas by relaxing into the out breath. As your awareness flows up through your body, it brings with it a wave of relaxation that allows you to enter deeper and deeper into the wonderfully relaxing space of the hypnagogic state. Let the awareness flow up through your middle back, your sides, your rib cage. Lower chest, middle chest, all the way up to the level of your armpits. Be aware of any and all bodily sensations, from the tips of your toes to the level of your armpits. Maintaining that soft, mindful awareness, allow your focus now to move to your hands. Be aware of your palms, back of your hands, each one of your fingers and thumbs. Release any tension that you may hold here on the out breath. Allow your awareness to flow up through your wrists, forearms, elbows, through your upper arms, biceps, triceps, shoulders. Flow your awareness up into your shoulder blades, collarbone area, upper back, base of your neck, flowing round your upper chest and meeting the point of awareness at the level of your armpits. Relax deeply into an awareness of any and all bodily sensations from the tips of your toes to the base of your neck. Now, your awareness flows up through your throat, back of the neck, sides of the neck, ears, underneath your chin. Flow the awareness up into your face, your cheeks, your eyes, forehead, back of the head, sides of the head, top of the head, crown of the head. You are now mindfully aware of your entire body from the tips of your toes to the crown of your head. You are now mindfully aware of your entire body from the tips of your toes to the crown of your head. Completely relaxed, completely supported, completely safe. Now, Bring your awareness deeper still to the point between your eyebrows. Focus your awareness at the point between your eyebrows and allow your awareness to gather there. If you like, you can imagine a ball of white light at this point between your eyebrows. Gather your awareness into this ball of white light at the point between your eyebrows. 
the white light is your awareness. The white light refreshes your mind and recharges it with clarity. Enter into this white light fully for the next few moments. Now, from this point of focus between your eyebrows, prepare to drop any regulation of awareness around the body. Drop any visualization of the ball of white light and simply rest. Now, rest. Just lie there in the deep relaxation of the hypnagogic state. Rest in awareness. Nothing to do. Nowhere to go. Body at ease. Mind at rest. Resting. completely relaxed, completely supported, completely safe. Relax deeply into the hypnagogic state. Rest in awareness. Simply know what is happening as it is happening, without preference.
if you feel yourself slipping off into unconscious sleep. Simply come back to the awareness of your body and the sounds in the room. My voice and the sound of this track will bring you back from wherever you go. So for the next few minutes, enter deeply into the hypnagogic state. Enter deeply into the hypnagogic state. And whenever you're ready, with no sense of rush, bring yourself back into an awareness of your body. Bring yourself back gently to fully wakeful awareness. Open your eyes, stretch your body, wiggle your toes. Engage fully wakeful awareness, feeling refreshed, relaxed and mindfully aware. You are refreshed, relaxed and mindfully aware. I am totally adequate for all situations. Know that you are far more than you think you are. You are divinely protected. You are connected with infinite wisdom. You are never alone. You have everything you need. Of course you are adequate for all situations. 
I am one with the power and wisdom of the universe. I claim this power, and it is easy for me to stand up for myself. I listen with love to my body's messages. At the first sign of the slightest dis-ease in your body, instead of giving money to the pharmaceutical companies, sit down, close your eyes, take three deep breaths, and go within, asking, what is it I need to know? Because your body is trying to tell you something. If you rush to the medicine cabinet, you are, in effect, telling your body to shut up. Please listen to your body. It loves you. My body is always working toward optimum health. My body wants to be whole and healthy. I cooperate and become healthy, whole, and complete. I express my creativity. Everyone has unique creativity within them. It is an act of loving ourselves to take the time to express this creativity no matter what it is. If we believe we are too busy to allow creative time, then we are missing a very fulfilling part of ourselves. My unique creative talents and abilities flow through me and are expressed in deeply satisfying ways. My creativity is always in demand. I am in the process of positive change. We are always in the process of change. I used to make many negative changes. Now that I've learned to release old, outworn patterns, my changes are positive. I am unfolding in fulfilling ways. Only good can come to me. I now express health, happiness, prosperity, and peace of mind. I accept my uniqueness. No two snowflakes are alike and no two daisies. Each person is a rare gem with unique talents and abilities. We limit ourselves when we try to be like someone else. Rejoice in your uniqueness. There is no competition and no comparison, for we are all different and meant to be that way. I am special and wonderful. I love myself. All my relationships are harmonious. I see only harmony around me at all times. I willingly contribute to the harmony I desire. My life is a joy. When we create harmony in our minds and hearts, we will find it in our lives. The inner creates the outer, always. It is safe to look within. We often are frightened to look within because we think that we will find this terrible being. But in spite of what they might have told us, what we will find is a beautiful child that longs for our love. As I move through the layers of other people's opinions and beliefs, I see within myself a magnificent being, wise and beautiful. I love what I see in me. I experience love wherever I go. What we give out returns to us, multiplied and folded over. The best way to get love is to give love. Love can mean acceptance and support, comfort and compassion, kindness and gentleness. I certainly want to live in a world with these qualities. Love is everywhere and I am loving and lovable. Loving people fill my life and I find myself easily expressing love to others. Loving others is easy when I love and accept myself. We can't really love others till we love ourselves. Otherwise, what we call love is really codependency or addiction or neediness. No one can ever love you enough if you don't love yourself. You will always be saying things like, do you really love me? And there is no way you can satisfy another who does not love him or herself. There will be pouty silences and jealousy. So learn to love yourself and you will have a loving life. My heart is open. I allow my love to flow freely. I love myself. I love others and others love me.
I am beautiful and everybody loves me. I use this affirmation a lot when I'm walking down a city street, and even though they don't hear it, it's wonderful to see how many people respond to me with smiles. Try it. This affirmation can really make your day when you're out and about. I radiate acceptance and I am deeply loved by others. Love surrounds me and protects me. I love and approve of myself. Out of self-approval comes only good. We're not talking about vanity or pride, for those are just expressions of fear. Loving yourself means cherishing and appreciating the miracle that you are. You do have value and self-worth. Love being you. I appreciate all that I do. I am good enough just as I am. I speak up for myself. I ask for what I want. I claim my power. I am a decisive person. It is really safe to make decisions. Make them with authority. If a decision turns out to be a poor one, then make another decision. Learn to turn within and do a short meditation when you need a solution. You have all the answers within you. Practice going within often and you will have a good, solid connection with your inner wisdom. I trust my inner wisdom and I make decisions with ease. I am always safe when I travel. You create your consciousness of safety and of course it will go with you everywhere, no matter what form of transportation you are using. No matter what form of transportation I choose, I am safe and secure. My level of understanding is constantly growing. When we understand more of life, we experience more of life's wonders. People who have a limited life have a very limited understanding. They see things in black and white, yes or no, and they are usually motivated by fear or guilt. Allow your understanding to grow and you will have a larger, more compassionate view of life. Each day I ask my higher self for the ability to deepen my understanding of life and to move me beyond judgment and prejudice. I now accept the perfect mate. Write down all the qualities you want in your ideal mate and then check to make sure that you are expressing those qualities too. You may need to make some inner changes before the right person can come in. Divine love now leads me to and maintains me in a loving relationship with my perfect mate. Security is mine now and forevermore. Our belief systems are always evident in our experiences. As we create safety and security in our minds, then we will find it in our world. Positive affirmations create a positive life. All that I have and all that I am is safe and secure. I live and move in a safe and secure world. World healing is in process now. Each one of us constantly contributes to world chaos or world peace. Every unkind, unloving, negative, fearful, judgmental, prejudicial thought contributes to the atmosphere that produces earthquakes, floods, drought, war, and other disasters. On the other hand, every loving, kind, peaceful, supportive, helpful thought contributes to the atmosphere that produces wellness and healing for all. What kind of a world do you want to contribute to? Every day I visualize our world as peaceful, whole, and healed. I see each person being well-fed, clothed, and housed. I bless our government with love. Our belief in a negative government produces just that. Do some positive affirmations for our government every day. I affirm that each person in our government is loving, honest, honorable, and truly working for the betterment of all people. 
I love my family. I have had hundreds of estranged families be lovingly reunited by doing this affirmation daily for three or four months. When we are estranged from our families, we often send a lot of negative energy back and forth. This affirmation stops that and opens the space for loving feelings to surface. I have a loving, harmonious, joyous, healthy family, and we all have excellent communication. My children are divinely protected. If we are fearful for our children, they often give us things to worry about. We want our children to feel free and secure in the mental atmosphere we surround them with. So always do positive affirmations for your children when you are apart. Divine wisdom resides within each of my children and they are joyous, safe, and secure wherever they go. I love all God's creatures, animals great and small. Every creature, every insect, bird, and fish has its own special place in life. They are just as important as we are. I communicate easily and lovingly with all living beings, and I know that they deserve our love and protection. I love experiencing my baby's birth. In the nine months before birth, talk and communicate with your baby. Prepare for the birthing experience so that it is an easy, loving experience for both of you. Describe the birth process to your baby in the most positive ways so that you can both cooperate with each other in supportive ways. Unborn children love to hear their mother sing to them, and they love music too. The miracle of birth is a normal and natural process, and I go through it easily effortlessly and lovingly. I love my baby. I believe that we choose our parents and we choose our children on a soul level. Our children have come to be our teachers. There is much we can learn from them, but most important is the love that can be shared. My baby and I have a joyous, loving, peaceful relationship. We are a happy family. My body is flexible. Keeping my mind flexible and agile is reflected in the flexibility of my body. The only thing that keeps us rigid is fear. When we truly know that we are divinely protected and safe, then we can relax and just flow with the effortlessness of life. Be sure to include dance time in your schedule. Healing energy constantly flows through every organ and joint and cell. I move easily and effortlessly. I am aware. Several times a day, just stop and say to yourself, I am aware. Then take a deep breath and notice how much more you become aware of. There is always more to experience. I constantly increase my awareness of myself, my body, and my life. Awareness gives me the power to be in charge. I love to exercise. I expect to live a long time, and I want to run and dance and be flexible until my last day. My bones get stronger when I exercise, and I have found lots of different ways to enjoy movement of all kinds. Movement keeps us moving in life. Exercise helps to keep me young and healthy. My muscles love to move. I am an alive person. Prosperity is my divine right. Most people get angry when they first hear that money is the easiest thing to demonstrate. But it is true. But we must release our negative reactions to it and our negative beliefs about it first. It is easier to teach a workshop on sexuality than on money. People get incredibly angry when their beliefs about money are challenged. The people who want money the most fight the hardest to hold on to the limiting patterns. What is your negative belief about money that is keeping you from having some? 
I deserve and willingly accept an abundance of prosperity flowing through my life. I give and receive joyously and lovingly. I am connected with divine wisdom. There is always an answer to every question, a solution to every problem. We are never lost, lonely, or abandoned in life, for we have this infinite wisdom and guidance constantly with us. Learn to trust it, and you will feel safe all your life. Daily I go within to connect with all the wisdom of the universe. I am constantly being led and guided in ways that are for my highest good and greatest joy. Today I look at life with fresh eyes. When out-of-town people come to visit, they always help me to see my everyday world through their new eyes. We think we have seen it all, and yet we miss so much that is immediately around us. In my morning meditations, I ask to see more and to understand more this day. My world is infinitely larger than I know. I am willing to see life in a new and different way, to notice things that I have not noticed before. A new world awaits my new vision. I am in step with today. Within each and every one of us is the intelligence to understand and use all the new and exciting electronic wonders that are filling our lives. And if we do have difficulty programming our VCR or computer, all we have to do is ask a child. All the children of today are electronically literate, as it has been said before, and the little children shall lead them. I am open and receptive to the new in life. I am willing to understand VCRs and computers and other wonderful electronic devices. I maintain my perfect weight. Junk foods and overly rich foods contribute to our ill health and overweight conditions. When we go for health and drop red meat and dairy and sugar and fat from our menus, then the body automatically goes to and settles at its perfect weight. Toxic bodies are fat. Healthy bodies are at the perfect weight. As we release toxic thoughts from our minds, our bodies respond by creating wellness and beauty. My mind and my body are balanced and in tune. I achieve and maintain my perfect weight easily and effortlessly. I am in tip-top shape. There was a time when we all ate natural healthy foods. Today we have to pick our way between the junk and processed non-foods to find simple healthy food. I have found that the simpler I eat, the healthier I am. Give your body the foods that grow and you will grow. I take loving care of my body, I eat healthful foods, I drink healthful beverages. My body responds by being in tip-top shape all the time. My animals are healthy and happy. I refuse to feed my six wonderful animals any junk or canned foods. Their bodies are as important as mine. We all take good care of ourselves. I lovingly communicate with my animals, and they let me know how I can make them happy, both mentally and physically. We live life joyfully together. I am in harmony with all of life. I have a natural green thumb. I love the earth, and the earth loves me. I do everything I can to make it rich and productive. Every plant I lovingly touch responds by growing forth in all its glory. House plants are happy, flowers are vibrantly beautiful, fruits and vegetables are abundant and delicious. I am in harmony with nature. This is a day of great healing. The mind that contributes to creating an illness is the same mind that can create wellness. The cells in our body are constantly responding to the mental atmosphere within us. Like people, they do their best work in a happy, loving environment. So fill your life with joy, and you will be happy and healthy. 
I connect with the healing energies of the universe to heal myself and all those around me who are ready to be healed. I know that my mind is a powerful healing tool. I love and respect the elders in my life. The way we treat elders now is the way we will be treated when we become older. I believe that our later years can become our treasure years and that we can all become elders of excellence, living our lives in rich and full ways and contributing to the wellness of our society. I treat the elders in my life with the utmost love and respect for I know that they are a wise and wonderful source of knowledge, experience, and truth. My vehicle is a safe haven for me. I always send love to angry drivers on the road. I'm aware that they don't know what they're doing to themselves. Anger creates angry situations. A long time ago, I gave up being angry at poor drivers. I'm not going to ruin my day because you do not know how to drive. I bless my car with love and send love ahead of me on the road. Because I do this, I seldom have angry drivers around me. They are off causing trouble for other angry drivers. I lovingly share the road and almost always arrive right on time no matter what the traffic is. We take our consciousness everywhere. Where you go, your mind goes and it attracts like experiences. When I am driving my vehicle, I am completely safe, relaxed, and comfortable. I bless the other drivers on the road with love. Music enriches my life. We all dance to a different drummer and are fulfilled by different kinds of music. What is uplifting to one person can be a dreadful noise to another. I have a friend who plays meditation music for her trees and it drives her neighbors nuts. I fill my life with harmonious and uplifting music that enriches my body and soul. Creative influences surround and inspire me. I know how to quiet my thoughts. Time alone and inner time gives us the chance to renew our spirits, and inner time gives us the guidance we need. I deserve rest and quiet when I need it, and I create a space in my life where I can go to get what I need. I am at peace with my solitude. My appearance reflects my love of self. Our clothes, our cars, and our homes reflect the way we feel about ourselves. A scattered mind will produce scattered objects everywhere. As we bring peace and harmony to our thoughts, our appearance and all our possessions automatically become harmonious and pleasing. I groom myself well every morning and wear clothes that reflect my appreciation and love of life. I am beautiful inside and out. I have all the time in the world. Time stretches when I need more and shrinks when I need less. Time is my servant and I use it wisely. Here and now, in this moment, all is well. I have plenty of time for each task that I need to perform today. I am a powerful person because I choose to live in the present moment. I give myself a vacation from work. We do our best work when we give ourselves short periods of rest. A five-minute break every two hours sharpens our minds. So too, vacation time benefits the mind and body. The workaholics who never rest or play become very intense people. They are seldom fun to be around. The child in us needs to play. If our inner child is not happy, then neither are we. I plan vacations for myself in order to rest my mind and body. I stay within my budget and always have a wonderful time. I return to work relaxed and refreshed. Children love me. We need contact with all the generations. Senior condos and retirement communities lack the laughter of children. 
Connecting with children keeps us young at heart. The little child in us loves to play with children. Children love me, and they feel safe around me. I let them come and go freely. My adult self feels appreciated and inspired by children. My dreams are a source of wisdom. I always go to sleep with loving thoughts to lay the groundwork for the work I do in my dreams. Loving thoughts bring loving answers. I know that many of the questions I have about life can be answered as I sleep. I clearly remember my dreams when I wake up each morning. I surround myself with positive people. When we allow negative people to fill our lives, it becomes much harder to stay positive ourselves. So don't allow yourself to be dragged down with other people's negative thinking. Choose your friends with care. My friends and relatives exude love and positive energy, and I return these feelings. I know that I may have to release people from my life who are not supportive of me. I manage my finances with love. Every bill you pay is evidence that someone trusted in your ability to earn the money. So sprinkle love in all your financial transactions, including the IRS. Think of taxes as paying rent to the country. I write my checks and pay my bills with gratitude and love. I always have enough money in my bank account to take care of the necessities and luxuries in my life. I love my inner child. Daily connection with our inner child, the little one you once were, contributes to our wellness. At least once a week, take your inner child by the hand and spend some time with it. Do some special things together, things you loved to do when you were little. The child in me knows how to play and love and wonder. As I support this part of me, it opens the door to my heart and my life is enriched. I ask for help when I need it. Ask and ye shall receive. The universe lies in smiling repose, waiting for me to ask. It is easy for me to ask for help when I need it. I feel safe in the midst of change, knowing that change is a natural law of life. I am open to the love and support of others. Holidays are a time of love and joy. Gifts are wonderful to exchange, but even greater is the love you can share with everyone you meet. Celebrating holidays with my family and friends is always enjoyable. We always make time for laughter and express gratitude for the many blessings of life. I am patient and kind with everyone I encounter each day. Try thanking everyone you meet today for something. You will be delighted with how much it means to them. You will receive more than you give. I beam kind and loving thoughts to store clerks, restaurant workers, law enforcement personnel, and all others whom I encounter during the day. All is well in my world. I am an empathetic friend. When a friend comes to you with a problem, it doesn't necessarily mean they want you to fix it. Probably all they want is a sympathetic ear. A good listener is a valuable friend. I am in tune with other people's thoughts and emotions. I give advice and support to my friends when they ask for it and just listen with love when that is appropriate. My planet is important to me. Loving the earth is something we can all do. Our beautiful earth provides everything we need, and we need to honor her at all times. Saying a small prayer for the earth every day is a loving thing to do. The health of this planet is very important. If we do not take care of our planet, where will we live? I bless this planet with love. I nourish the vegetation. I am kind to the creatures. I keep the air clean. I eat natural food and use natural products. 
I am deeply grateful for and appreciative of being alive. I contribute to harmony, wholeness, and healing. I know peace begins with me. I love my life. I love my world. Thank you for letting me share some ideas with you. This is Louise Hay, and I love you. First, think of the question you want to ask an animal spirit guide. Then get yourself in a comfortable position, either lying down or sitting. Take a couple of slow, deep breaths. Good. Now, when you're ready, close your eyes. Take another deep breath. And when you exhale, feel yourself relax. With each breath, notice how you let go a little bit more each time. Simply notice your breathing. If your attention drifts elsewhere, allow it to do so, then gently return your attention to your breathing. Just notice your thoughts passing through your awareness like falling leaves. Know that you're safe at all times. If you travel with a spirit animal or other spirit guides, call on them now to be with you during this meditation journey. Know you're safe and protected at all times. Breathe. And now, just with your awareness, track your breathing for the next few moments. Notice how relaxed and comfortable you feel. Letting go of all tension. Taking all the time in the world. Allowing yourself to completely let go. Breathe. That's right. Now, let your consciousness gently and gradually float down into the earth, into the lower world, slowly descending, feeling very comfortable, very safe, 
down into the earth, the lower world. That's right. As you drop into the lower world, notice the sensations in your body, how you feel. Notice your breathing. Be aware of how relaxed you feel. Now, as you descend, soon you come to a grassy area, a meadow. Observe how you float down until you land gently on your feet in this meadow, feeling completely comfortable and safe. That's right. Once you arrive, look around you and, and simply notice whatever you see. Not too far away, there's a forest, and in the distance, the mountains. On the other side of the forest is the ocean. Be aware of the colors you see. Notice any sounds you hear. Be aware of any smells. Feel the pleasant warmth of the sun on your skin. Perhaps you can feel a slight breeze. Now you have a choice of staying in this beautiful meadow or wandering about to any of these other areas. Go ahead and make your choice. If you choose to wander to another area, do so now, taking your time. If you choose to stay in the meadow, go ahead and be seated in a comfortable place. If you wander to the mountains, into the forest, by the river in the forest, or to the beach. Once you arrive there, find a comfortable place to sit. Take a deep breath and allow yourself to relax into the setting you're in, using all your senses. Good. Now, think of your question. As you do so, soon you notice an animal coming to you. You realize it's an animal spirit guide and it's exactly the right one for the question you have in mind. It may or may not be your totem animal or power animal. It may or may not be one that you saw in a dream or a vision. But feel confident that this is the right animal spirit guide for your purpose. Breathe. Feeling completely safe knowing that you're protected at all times. This animal spirit guide approaches you, very friendly and willing to help you out, and sits or stands in front of you. Now, communicate your question telepathically to this spirit animal. Once you've done so, observe everything that immediately follows. The information may come as a visual image, something you hear, a feeling in your body, or a thought in your mind. 
It may be cryptic or very direct and very clear. No matter how it comes, just notice without trying to interpret or make sense of it right now. Just notice. That's it. Just be aware of all that comes your way now that you've asked the question. If something isn't clear, ask this spirit animal for further clarification. Take a few moments now to pay attention to whatever is coming to you. Simply allow yourself to absorb the information. Good. Just noticing what you see, anything you hear, feel, or thoughts that come into your mind. Good. Breathe. Good. Once that feels complete, thank this animal spirit guide in some way. Now notice that this animal spirit guide gives you a small gift, a symbol of this journey and the guidance you just received. Once you receive the gift, hold it to your heart. Close your eyes and take a couple of slow, easy breaths. That's it. Breathe it in. Notice how it feels. And now once again, thank this spirit animal and say your farewells to each other. Your animal spirit guide now departs and once again you close your eyes. Breathe. And now you feel yourself gently lifting up from the lower world back into the middle world, back to where you started from. Take your time. Notice your breathing. Notice the sensations in your body. Now gently move your fingers and toes as you bring your awareness back into your body. That's it. Take your time. Let your breath be relaxed and comfortable. Nice deep breath. Whenever you're ready, open your eyes and look around to your surroundings, to your environment.
that's it. And this helps to orient you to present time and third dimensional reality. Once again, if the response and the answers were not completely clear, just pay attention over the next few hours or the coming days. Notice signs, anything that shows up that seems to clarify the answer you got from your animal spirit guide. And you may want to jot down some notes from this meditation journey. So once this is complete, take a few minutes and jot down your impressions. Congratulations. Visualization Meditation This track is a visualization meditation that will help you open up your right brain's creative capacity to create powerful images of romantic love. This meditation will activate your subconscious and lead you to become clear and unapologetic about your desires. Gently shut your eyes and sit up straight in your chair with your feet planted firmly on the ground and your palms facing upward to receive all of the energy that is around you. Take a deep breath in your nose and breathe out your mouth. Throughout this meditation, continue this cycle of breath in your nose and out your mouth. Envision yourself sitting alone in your home. You are calm and peaceful. You hear a knock at the door. See yourself walk to the door. As you open the door, a flood of warm white light comes in. This light represents love and inspiration. As you breathe in, the light passes through your body. As you exhale, the light moves through you and fills the room. Each inhale and exhale recycles this light, expanding its glow, cultivating a presence of light within you, and growing a presence of light around you. Continue breathing in this light in your nose, allowing the light to pass through you, and on the exhale, release, extending the light to the room. Inhaling, breathing in this light, marinating in the presence of this warm, loving light. Exhaling the light, sharing it with the room around you. As you continue breathing in and out, you are strengthening your own connection to this light, growing and expanding your internal flame. Continue breathing in and out, cultivating this presence of light within you Extending this light from you to the environment around you. As you strengthen this connection to the light, 
You begin to shine from the inside out. Feel this connection to peace and love. A sense of completion and wholeness begins to set in. Breathing in and exhaling the light. You're becoming a magnet for love. Take another deep breath in and release. And when you're ready, open the door and step outside to the world. As you take your steps out of your home into the world, you feel your auric field expanding with every inhale and exhale. Breathing in and release. A rainbow of light begins to form around your heart, emanating love, positivity, and peace. Everywhere you go and everyone you see are positively affected by this light energy you're giving off. This light extends from you effortlessly, flowing in and releasing. You smile at each person you encounter and graciously bless them with your loving presence. As you continue to walk through your environment, you begin to feel as though you are a magnet for love. With every inhale and exhale, with every holy encounter, you are attracting more and more love to your presence. You're flowing freely through life. Intuitively, you feel as though you're calling in the romantic partner you've been longing for. You feel the presence of this significant other coming closer and closer. You know in your heart that they are on their way towards you. Continue cultivating that presence of love within you with every inhale and every exhale. From a distance, you see a bright being of light walking towards you. You know who this is. A whole, complete being of light, a perfect match for your completeness. The two of you, two whole beings of light, flock towards each other like metal to a magnet. Two complete This is Denise Lynn, and this meditation is called Opening to Spirit. To begin this meditation, take just a moment 
to focus your awareness on your body. If there's any area of your body that feels tight, move your awareness into that part and sense and feel a wonderful feeling of relaxation flowing into this area. Now be quiet as you do this. Continue scanning your body and then imagine relaxation flowing into any areas that feel less than comfortable, less than relaxed. That's good. Now take a very deep breath, inhaling now. And as you hold that breath, feel and imagine the muscles around your lungs relaxing. And exhale now, letting go, surrendering to the breath, surrendering to the sound of the music, surrendering to the rhythm of your breath. more and more relaxed, letting go. That's good. Spirit is all around us. It's simply a matter of being still, opening the heart to receive the guidance, the love and the healing from the realm of spirit. In the moments ahead, you have the opportunity to do this. Spirit is here. Your spiritual guides, guardians, and angels are here. Opening to spirit. Opening to love. To embark on this meditation, imagine it's a warm night. You're sitting, perhaps, in a rocking chair on a country farmhouse on the front porch. You can hear the sound of crickets. In the distance, you can see heat lightning across the field. It's a scattering of luminescent bugs. Fireflies gently floating Make this as real as you can. If you're not visual, that's perfectly all right. Feel what this would be like on this warm summer night in your rocking chair on this country porch. Perhaps you can see the moon rising in the distance. All is well. All is well. Maybe you have a candle or two, creating a flickering light on this porch. In the moments ahead, you have visitors, visitors from spirit. Luminescent light beings. You can see their approach. Closer and closer, you can feel your heart opening more and more. These are the beings that love you, that know you, that cherish you, that support you, that guide you. You are not alone. Your life is indeed guided. One luminescent being now comes up the steps and brings to you a gift from spirit. Receive this gift. I'll be quiet while you take a moment to communicate, commune with this spiritual being and to receive this gift.
There are others that wish to communicate with you. There are others that have gifts to give you. In the moments ahead, receive these gifts. You deserve these and so much more. Keep going. I'll be quiet. You have time to spend with these spiritual guides. Do know this, no matter what you are consciously experiencing, right now, beneath conscious awareness, a wonderful opening to spirit is occurring within you. You have time now. That's good. You're doing so well. One of these luminescent light beams invites you out into the field. Beneath the stars, beneath the moon, surrounded by the fireflies. And you each create a great circle. You find that you are luminescent as well. As you stand in this great circle, it is a circle of healing. It is a circle of light. It is a circle that is blessed by the Creator. You know you've been invited into the center. Imagine now that you are in the center of the circle. From the heavens through the hearts of these beings, rays of light are flowing to you, and you receive this. You are the beloved. You are the sacred vessel. You are a remarkable, luminescent being. This is true. More and more with each and every passing day, you find yourself opening to spirit. You find seeming coincidences and signs and symbols appearing to you letting you know that spirit is near, letting you know that you are indeed loved, letting you know that all is well. All is well. If you have a wish or a desire for yourself or for others, in this moment, Offer this wish to the luminescent light ones. Offer this wish to the Creator. Your wish is heard and in accordance with your highest good shall come to fruition. This or something better in accordance with your highest good. On this warm summer evening under the stars surrounded by fireflies and fairies and the light beings. You are blessed. You are the blessing and you are blessed. So be it and so it is. So be it and so it is. <laughs> 